Hi, hello, it's me again, Patty Boyd. Um, please excuse the no makeup and the tired look, but it's Saturday evening, and I've been kind of busy all day. Um, anyway, y'all not going to be seeing me, my, this gorgeous face, for most of this video, because I'm going to be demoing the microwave oven kiln that we talked about in the last video. Now, remember I said in that video, um, read the instructions? Well, after I made the video, I read the instructions, and it says, do not use a microwave that you cook food in. So, I started looking for a used microwave and had no luck, so I went out and bought a new one. So, that's going to be part of this giveaway that I will tell you about at the end of the video. So, today we're going to do this microwave kiln and see how it works. First, I'm going to explain a few things to you as we go along. So, hold on, okay? Okay, I'm all about sharing talent. And when you find somebody with talent, I like to show them off. I have a lot of talented friends. In fact, all of you are talented. You just have to find what talent you have. This is my across-the-street neighbor, Linda Myers. Her talent is drawing, and I love it. She is great. Thank you, Linda. I have framed it, and it will be going in a very special place. So, now, to refresh your memory from the last video, this is what I'll be working with tonight. tonight. This is the microwave kiln and what came in the kit. There are the gloves, uh, the kiln paper. There's one, two, three, four, five different types of glass that you can work with. <clears throat> There's the file uh, right there and the glass cutter, which you actually should like use some olive oil or glass cutting oil whenever you use it. And then the actual kiln itself, types of glass. There's glass bead and it's not all of them this is just what i have glass beads this is Mila fiore which is like glass rods with a design in it i don't know how they make it and they just slice it and um that's what you use you can just decorate little things this is uh dichroic on clear glass um dichroic remember is the glass that has the metal coating on it. It was invented by NASA for the astronauts' um, face shields on their helmets so that the sun wouldn't burn them. This is dichroic on black right there. And this is, I always keep glass. <laughs> I don't throw it away. This is just little bits and pieces of glass that I use for little things. This is glass confetti. It's just very thin glass that you can use to make your creation. This is frit, which I've ground this up myself, so it's um, all the different ones is all mixed up together. Normally you would um, classify frit as fine, medium, or coarse ground. This is like all of it together. But you can buy it already ground up. <coughs> this is just glass or what I call good glass because you can't just go out and get glass and start fire, firing it in a kiln. Um, glass has a coefficient factor to it. Um, so what works best? And, and, and you also have to meet that coefficient whenever you're combining glass together. It all has to be the same coefficient or else it will crack. So this is 90 uh, COE. Um, this is what we're going to be working with today. This is some dichroic. Dichroic has the front, like I told you over there, and the back. When you cut dichroic glass, you always cut it on the opposite side of the metal glaze, the design. This is glass rods that you can use for lamp working or, or anything of that nature, just to have fun with. This is glass paint. This is the brand I use, Glass Line. You just put it on there, fire it, and it's there permanently. This is uh, 
color line. This is what my sister Colette sent me. Thank you, Colette. This is my glass cutter. My glass cutter, it has a reservoir for the oil in it. Uh, I like it. Uh, kiln paper. There is thin fire, which is this, which is what I use most of the time on the bottom of the kiln. You just place it there and you place it on there and then it just kind of burns off, but it protects everything and it keeps glass from sticking. This is a um, a thicker one. And I use this, I'll tear off little bits, like when you make holes, um, to put the, when you make holes in glass, if you put it in the kiln, it's, the coal is going to close back up. So you tear this off and put it in there and it won't close back up. So, um, that's all the equipment. If you hold on just a minute and we'll start working on putting something together and firing it, okay? Okay, I've had to rig this up, so this might be a little difficult for me to do. But this is the only way I can film it and have light and show you what I'm going to do. This is just a regular piece of 90COE from artglasssupplies.com. Very good. Love you guys. And what I'm going to do is just cut a square. I'm not going to try and be precise about it because we're just going to be trying this out to show you how it does. So you take your glass cutter, hold it. You can draw if you want. But like I said, I'm not trying to be that precise. And you make a line. You can feel the glass on the glass cutter as it goes by. Um, it kind of makes a, um, like it's cutting glass noise. These are what you use to break the glass. So you hold it where the line is, right up against where you cut it, and squeeze, hopefully, squeeze. Squeeze. There. You had to find the right line. So you see it cut cleanly like that. So now we're going to cut a smaller uh, square. Remember this glass uh, microwave kiln is not very big, so you can't do very much. But enough to get your hobby going and get your appetite, appetite wet for doing glass, because... And then you cut it. Now we have this dichroic piece right here. Mm, there you go. I think it's a nice one. So we're just going to cut a little square that would go on there. And I'm not going to worry about all of this right here because that just adds to it. We'll cut that side. I like that side better. So remember with dichroic, you don't cut on the side with the design. You cut on the back. So we're going to cut this little sucker right here. Can you hear that? You can tell you're cutting glass. And then, can you see the little line? Maybe not. Line it up. Break it. Okay, so now you got this, and you've got this. And I so say you're gonna make a little pendant. So however you wanna design it or do it, you can do it that way. If you find that it's got rough edges, you grind it. I have a great big grinder sitting right behind me, and I'm not gonna use that, I'll use that later. Cause I'm gonna use what you have in this kit that, I, that you're gonna hopefully win. So they gave you a metal file, so. You can just kind of file the rough edges. You might want to be wearing gloves and a mask. Because you don't want silica dust in your lungs. But we're going to just leave it like that. You're, you're, this is not a very good one. This is not, this is obviously for fingernails. The one you get in the kit um, is better. All right, so let's say we've done that. All right, now you want to make a hole because you're going to put jewelry in there, maybe. Are you going to, like, put a loop in there? See this? Harbor Freight. 
$9.99. That's not even on sale. You can get one of those little uh, coupons and get it for next to nothing. What you would do is you would, and you're not going to be able to hear me after I do this, so you would just drill a hole. I, think, I don't think we're going to do that for this one because I don't know how that microwave kiln reacts right at the moment. So I would rather just do a little piece like this. So you want to put this on there however you want it. And then you take a little paintbrush and some watered down glue. I just keep a container all the time. A little paintbrush. This glue will burn off and not leave any residue. Put it on the piece you're going to glue to. And take much. And then put it on there. Okay, that's just about it. Hopefully it will come out looking something like that. See, it's fused to it and it's, the edges are around and um, smooth. So hopefully it will turn out like that, but we'll see. Okay, so we're out here in the garage. This is my kiln that I normally use, um, smaller than the microwave, but it puts out a lot of heat and um, it's digital. Da -da. And here is the box that the new microwave came in. There is the new microwave. So if you hold on a minute, I'll get set up. Alrighty. We're going to start. We have read La Instruction. We have set up the new microwave. First goes in the base. Then the kiln paper on the base. Then the piece we made on the kiln paper, on the base, then the top, which has a hole in it, which you should be able to see glowing embers, or not embers, glowing light, we'll see. And now you set it for what it says, which is on high for six to eight minutes. So, time cook. Eight, let's just go for broke. Eight minutes. Power level, 10, that's where we want it. Start. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll move it. See the light? Oops, how it's going. It's doing its thing. And so far, nobody's blown up. Okay, <clears throat> it's done and you can see that glowing there in the hole. Uh, it says, <clears throat> wear insulated gloves, remove kiln to kiln shelf for cooling, allow to cool about 30 minutes. All right, I'm not going to do that um, because of limited space that I have uh, over there that has some shelves that it would go on, but I'm not real sure I have the right insulated gloves here. I'm not using any of the stuff that came with the kit. Everything that I've used other than the microwave kiln is my stuff. So you're, whoever wins this kit is getting the whole thing. So what we're gonna do is open this 
and you can see it glowing. But everything is intact. So we're gonna leave it go for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, it's been over 30 minutes. As you can see by the clock, it's just actually an hour since I got this. And I've already touched it and it's um, quite cool. It's cool to the, to the touch. See, so it's not that bad. So I'm gonna bring it out. It looks like it's got, it's blackened a little bit here. I'm going to put it, this is a, a kiln shelf that I use in my kiln. I don't, there's no damage to the microwave. That's a good thing. So, let's, one thing you, one thing you want to do with glass is not to ever try and hurry it cooling down. Because when you do that, you've just wasted all your time because it's going to crack and break. So, we just always let it take its time. Ooh, look at that. That's different. I've not seen it do that. It's still hot. That's... <laughs> That's neat. Let's see. I have to get on the other side to make sure you're seeing this. Can you see it? So it just got so hot that the dichroic just melted onto the onto the um, glass below. Let's see if I can turn out some of these lights. See if that helps some. Look at that. That's different. Wow. But I like it. Hmm. Well. Okay. I will um, take this upstairs and we'll finish it up. Hi, it is now the next day because that piece that I showed you that came out of the kiln, it, it, that's not the way it's supposed to look. I mean, it looked kind of cool, but that's not the way it's supposed to look. It, the, the top piece, is, I wanted it to still maintain its shape. So I did three more firings, test firings. Um, and the only difference between all four was the time frame that I left it in the microwave, left it cooking in the microwave. I kept the the um, power at 100%. So I did the first one at 8 minutes, the second one at 6 minutes, the third one at 5 minutes, and the fourth one at 4 minutes. And that that's the one that it looked the way it should. Um, so uh, the microwave barely ever got hot on the outside it was warm i could still touch it so that's a good thing and there's no damage to the inside the microwave kiln has a little almost looks like it's a little dirty but that's part of the process of when it's firing and but it looks great uh so it's all good and dandy my opinion of a microwave kiln is it's great because man it takes a lot less time than when i do it with my kiln of course, the only disadvantage is that you only have about this much space to put anything on. So it's it's good if you want to just make little jewelry pieces. It's it's excellent. It's great. Um, I could get all four of those fired within two hours, and that's just amazing. Um, whereas it takes two hours for my kiln just to heat up to like a thousand degrees. Anyway, that being said, I still like my kiln. Um, so, what I'm going to do is remind you of that we have, I have a grand opening prize giveaway. And what that is, is that microwave kiln kit. And um, 
which has everything in it. I didn't use any of it on this. I used my own stuff. Uh, and the microwave. Go figure. A new microwave that's only been used four times. <laughs> and it still looks good. It's all right. So um, the way you have... The way you get to win this is any time in the month of April, you go to my website, and I'll have it written down here, and you purchase something for at least $20. You're automatically entered. The giveaway, I'll draw it and give it away on Saturday, May 1st. So you got a whole month. And if you go and buy something, and then let's say a week or so later, you go and buy something else, that's another entry. So each time you make a completed purchase as an entry into this drawing, uh, you can't go wrong. And I'll ship it to you where, if you're not here, I'll ship it to you wherever you are. And you don't have to pay for that either. So, jeez, it's a win-win. You get to go to my site and buy something, and you get something of your own, and then you get an entry into a drawing for a great prize. What do you say? <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, change the camera around and show you the pits, the pieces that I fired, and I'll be right back. Okay, here they are. I have a little blur. Let's take that away. Here's the first one that we did for eight minutes. Now you see, it just like totally disintegrated the fire. It almost burned itself into the. Um, kiln the bottom of the kiln thank goodness we had that on there um and this was this piece see how it just totally disintegrated into the other piece this is the one at six minutes it's a little bit better see it also has burned itself into but it's flat um and you can't distinguish the pattern this one is getting there. It has little pointies on the side. That means that it's getting there. And if you did this and you liked it, um, all you have to do is sand down the edges. And the, that's the five minute one. And then four minute, the piece de resistance. Ah, I can get it up. See how it maintains the shape and, and the design on the uh, dichroic glass. So, and the paper is, is in good shape. So, what you want to do after you do this is mount it. You can mount it uh, by putting a hole in it with that um, drill master. Like this, that you get at Harbor Freight. You just, and it comes with bits, so you don't have to do it. You just go $9.99 in bed. And you uh, just... Drill a hole in it, or you can just glue on bales, which is right all of these right here. And you can just glue it on to the back of it. See, so you just glue it on the back of that, and you got a necklace. And it took you, I mean, if you just take this, it took it would take you all of about 30 minutes, maybe. Um, so it's pretty cool. I like it. I like the microwave killing. And I think you would too if you want to try your hand at glass fusion. Um, remember, this is what you get in the uh, killing kit. The five packs of glass, the kiln paper, a glass cutter, a uh, smoother, a, a file, the gloves, and the kiln. Now you see... How it has that little brown. That happened after the first firing. And it didn't get any worse than that. And see, everything's still good. There was that crack right there when I got it. But it's still there. And it hadn't grown any. So it's still good. Anyway. Um, my approval of the microwave kill. And get out there and go to my website and um enter i mean buy something and you'll be entered you know wait until the first uh <clears throat> maybe next time we'll learn how to do those those are made from well 
the Merry Christmas one is made from Christmas cards that we've gotten. And this one was cards we got from our wedding. <coughs> easy to do, a little time consuming, but uh, easy to do. And I think you'll enjoy doing it. Uh, you already have the Christmas cards or the wedding cards or the birthday cards. So just make a wreath out of them. Okay. Well, I will um, see you next time.